Welcome to our video on HTML parsing. Today, we're tackling a fascinating question from one of our viewers. How do you properly parse paired HTML tags? This is a crucial skill for developers working with web content. Let's break it down together. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, we'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you need. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy, just like me, and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To properly parse paired HTML tags, we need to understand the structure of HTML. Each tag can have attributes and content, or it can be an empty tag. Let's start by looking at a simple example. When we encounter a tag like some words, we recognize it as a P tag with associated content. In contrast, a self-closing tag like P is also a P tag, but without content. This distinction is crucial for parsing. In Rebol, we can parse an HTML sequence using a specific rule. However, we need to ensure that we match the same opening tag when it appears as an ending tag. This is where our parsing logic becomes important. To achieve our goal, we can use a more elegant approach with Rebol's parse dialect. Here's a code snippet that demonstrates how to capture tags and their content effectively. By using this method, we can parse HTML more effectively capturing both the tags and their associated content. This allows us to represent the parsed data in a structured format, such as JSON. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To parse paired HTML tags in Rebol, you can use a word to store the expected pair. However, this method struggles with tags that have attributes and special ending marks. For example, parsing PN Swasher directly doesn't work because they aren't equal. You can fix this with more complex code, but it becomes less straightforward. A workaround involves modifying the tag to match its closing counterpart, but this adds complexity to the code, making it less elegant. And that's it guys. I hope the video helped find the resolution that you're looking for and you got the answer and worked your way through. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.